Uh, hey guys, so um, today I'm just going to catch you guys up because we haven't done a video for about three days now. So, it's our last day today, but let's start up from where we left off. So, I think last I talked to you guys, it was Rodan. Um, so, the next day we went to Belize, and the ship was parked way away from the island, like 15 miles. We had to take a tender there. And then we got there, we found a tour guide, and he took us out. We took a picture by a big sign that said Belize, and um, then we got in a bigger van and we drove through the city and he gave us like a little tour of everything and then we like drove a long way to the jungle and then we walked to the jungle we drove a little bit through there we eventually got to a national park and we went in there um we got all of our cave tubing gear um, we didn't have to carry the tubes but they they were already down there but we did have to carry a helmet and a life vest but we had a little trouble at the start because someone their kid wasn't tall enough to go so they had to stay we had a little bit of trouble, but then we got through, and we got to go through the jungle. Uh, I got to eat a termite, but Miss Pig didn't. And we went, we got there, we went, got in the tubes, floated down a river through a cave, got out the other end, and we floated a little bit down river, got our tubes, we, it was only like a two minute walk, we carried it back up, got ready, and then it was like a 45 minute wait, because they forgot the keys, or they had to have a guy come deliver them, so that wasn't the best. But they didn't mean to do that, and then eventually we got back to the ship. Did they provide lunch after yes, the tubing? Yes, they also provided lunch if you paid for it. They, it was pretty good. Rice and beans and some iguana meat with some macaroni salad and some, I believe, grapefruit juice. Was it iguana meat, Miss Pick? Well, it... I think it was, but it tasted a lot like chicken. Yeah, I think it was chicken. Yeah. But I don't know. Favorite, None of us had a wing, so I don't know. Yeah. My favorite probably was the rice and beans because it was so good. So then we, we made it back in, in time, even though we were a little bit delayed. And then, Miss Pick, you had something done right before we got back on the tender, right? Yeah, I got my hair Mm -hmm. right. And it only took a couple of minutes, right? Yeah, like eight, I think. Like Yeah, about eight to ten minutes to get her hair beaded. And it was like two dollars a braid, I think is what they charged. Yeah. And they actually wanted more, and Dad talked them down in price. So what was something interesting about Belize? Because it's in Central America, so you would think it would be that they would speak Spanish. But did everybody speak Spanish? No. Nope. No, everybody spoke English, right? In fact, do they learn English in school? Yes. They do, and they speak it very well. So after we took the 30-minute tender back to the boat, the next day, where did we go? We went to Cozumel, which was pretty fun. Miss Pick didn't go to Cozumel. So what did you do Well, we were in Cozumel? Um, I went to Camp Ocean, and, like, was it Wednesday? Uh, Thursday. 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 So I went there. I did some fun things like games and stuff like that. And then they went down to like an upstairs floor at the buffet and they served us pizza, french fries, carrot, celery, and I think for dessert they have fruit bowls. So yeah, I did that. I came back and we played some more fun stuff and games. And then I made these little, yeah, they put out the little loom bracelets, mm -hmm. uh, the little strings to make those. So I made two. I made a red one for my dad. And then I made like a rainbow one for me. I wanted to make one for him, but I didn't. And now didn't you make a maraca? Oh yeah. Oh, it's, 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 it's packed, packed away. Up. Yeah. Um, yeah, on the last day, you have to pack up all your stuff um, because you have to leave your suitcase outside your door so they can pick it up. So all of our stuff is packed, right? Yeah, it's the well, last day. We'll, we'll talk about what you did in a minute at the last day at Camp Ocean. Cozumel time. But, yeah, Stir Fry, what did we do at Cozumel? Well, me and my dad, we went to Cozumel, and we got off the boat. We had to go through a bunch of customs and a huge gift shop, which was, which was kind of annoying. And then we went over, we got on a little dive boat, but then they did, they drove us over to another dock, and we got to go off there and go to the dive shop, we rented the gear, and then we went to, um, we went, got, got back on the dive boat, and we took that out, I don't know, it was a short ride, like 15, 10 minutes, and we dove down at our first spot, um, the first thing we saw was a turtle, which is pretty cool, and it was a drift dive, so like, 
the current, it'd pull you, so you didn't have to do that much kicking, just to, you just had to do it to avoid the reef. And we saw a moray eel and a bunch of fish, my favorite pair of fish. No how, sharks, though. How big was the moray eel? That was, I'm going to get to that. That was on okay. the second one. Oh, yeah. Okay. But anyway, after that, we hit a spot in our, we had a personal dive master. He took us back up, we got on the boat, uh, we got new tanks, set everything up, we drove over to the other spot, maybe five, ten minutes. Uh, we got back in the water, we went down and we did another drift dive, we saw some lobsters on that one, no turtles though. But we saw a huge moray eel, about 15 feet long, and it was really big. It was a little scary too, because it was huge. And, um, yeah, the tour guide was going nuts when we came up. He was telling all of his friends in Spanish that it was enormous. <laughs> yeah. Um, but anyway, we saw a huge moray eel. And we went up, got back on the dive boat, and we went back to shore. And we turned in all the dive gear. And I got a t-shirt and about Cozumel. It's a little, like, in, like people evolving from monkeys to a diver. And it was pretty... I like that shoot. And so we got back on the boat and asked Miss Pick if she wanted to go into Mexico for a little bit. And she said, no, she wanted to stay at Camp Ocean. So you and I went and had some nachos at a little cantina and then came back on the ship, right? Mm -hmm. So what price were they? The nachos? How much was the, when the bill came, how much was it, Stir Fry? $444. Was that U.S. dollars? Pesos. Pesos. It was about 24 bucks. Coca-Cola's cost like 80 bucks. Oh, uh, they were what, 55 pesos? 55. So it looked like $55, but it was in uh, Mexican coinage. So then uh, that was Thursday. Today's Friday. Today was a day at sea. And what was the good and the bad about today? Well, the good was that we got our last few hours of fun. And the bad is that we have to leave tomorrow. Yeah, so we had to pack up tonight. So what are some tips for kids that might be packing their suitcases? Um, you, like, can roll your clothes up and, like, I don't really know how to I'll take it. I'll okay. Take it anyway, um, my good today was my cone crash, an ice cream creation I made where I got a big swirl of ice cream that looked like a mountain. And then I took a cone, I got it all like mushy and swirly, I smashed it into the side of it and it looked like a cone and crashed into a mountain. And it was funny, it melted everywhere, but it was awesome. <laughs> uh, I won this out of a claw machine. His name is David. Uh, he's a Minecraft skeleton. I spent about 23 bucks to win him. <laughs> Could have bought six of them at the, <laughs> at the store. But it feels better to win them from the claw machine and know you did it yourself. His name's David. Um, oh, yeah. The bad stuff is, of course, packing and leaving tomorrow. And the tip for packing stuff is if you fold your like your clothes and then you roll it up, and then if you just like pack it into the side of your suitcase... That works, and then also, when you get your shoes, if you pack them in there, if you need multiple shoes, if you put your socks and your underpants in your shoes, it also helps save a little bit of space. So, were you, were you amazed at how much more we could fit when we packed them that way? Yes. Yeah. Now, was there anything that you guys forgot that you wish you had brought on the cruise, or do you feel like you packed everything you needed? I packed everything I needed. Um, yeah, I feel like I packed everything I needed. And part of this was because we've been on a cruise before, right? Yeah. Uh, some of the things that Dad brings that most people don't think to bring is a small, um, like a power strip. Because how many plugs are there in our room? One. There's one plug. So if you have chargers, things that need to be plugged in, you need to bring a little power strip. And I have one that's just a few inches long and it has three or four plugs on it and it makes all the difference in the world. Um, that's really my main tip when people say, I want to go on a cruise, what do I need to bring? Uh, you guys, I think, handled yourselves pretty well. You brought stuff to do in case you got bored, but did you ever really get bored on the ship? No, there's a lot. Only if you're doing stuff that Dad wanted to do? So. Yeah. Yeah. But otherwise, there's enough to keep you guys going the whole time, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wait, what about soft paws? Have you shown her yet? Oh, um, I think we did. I don't remember. Oh, yeah. Um, but we do something with her. <laughs> so when we stuffed soft paws, we put a little more stuffing in her than I think we wanted to, right? Look how chubby she is. Here, come down here and we'll show her. And because there's all-you-can-eat food on the ship, 
we've kind of played a game that soft paws like most people who go on a cruise has put on a few extra pounds thanks to all the eating she is pretty chubby and so so soft paws has a voice like this and soft paws <laughs> likes to eat all the room service and whenever miss pitt gets room service um i try to eat it all and we've been having fun, uh, basically making fun of me for being so chubby. <laughs> but that's okay, because there's no calories at sea. At least that's what everyone tells me. But when I get back on land, I'm probably going to have to go on a, on a diet. Oh, but we like to do these fun things with her. Like, he makes her pass out. Like, I give her fresh fruit, and she's like, oh. And then I'm like, clear. And then oh, she's like, I don't Z -Z. like that. And then oh, she's no. Like, Z -Z. No. <laughs> so we've had lots of fun just even in the stateroom, huh? Yeah. And how do you stuff soft paws? Like, how did you get to do that? So there's a little Velcro, like, right here. Mm -hmm. I, I, well, I, wanna... I mean, not how to stuff her. I mean, where did you stuff her? So if a kid gets on the ship and wants to build a, a soft paws. Yeah. A, not necessarily a soft paws. Yeah. Because that's mine. But, but how did we come by that? Did we just buy it in the shop? Nope. Uh, we actually went to Camp Ocean and got to make this little chubby guy. And it was an added fee. It, so the soft paw, or the, the teddy bear um, is not a free service. It's something that you have to pay for. Yeah. Um, so first you have to like put some stuffing into her legs. See how her, sorry. See how her legs are like. Oh, I'm chubby. dizzy now. Sorry. See how her legs are all chubby. Yeah, once you're done with that, you stuff them into her arms. Her arms are kind of thin, um, but you have to stuff them into her arms. You can't really stuff them into her head a lot because her head's kind of already stuffed. And then you have to stuff it into her body, which this guy <laughs> put all of the stuffing in. <laughs> so he, oh, she's really chubby now. And it came with that t-shirt, for like with the bear, right? The carnival t-shirt? Yeah, this came with the bear. But then you bought an outfit. And yeah, I bought a bikini <laughs> for her, but it can't fit her because it, like, it squishes her in. It's a two-piece bikini, but soft paws is so big, she needs like a four-piece bikini, <laughs> right? Yeah, she needs like a girdle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it also came with a beach bag and all that mm -hmm. But that's all fun for you. So the kids club is, it's all uh, complimentary. Uh, Camp Ocean, everything's included other than this. This is the only extra thing you had to pay for, correct? Yeah. So as far as Camp Ocean goes, would you give it five stars, one star? How many stars? That's 15. No. <laughs> but would you give it 15 stars if you could? Yeah, I could. It is your most favorite thing to do on the cruise ship, huh? Yeah, I actually missed a lot of fun stuff just to stay at Camp Ocean. So. And Stir Fry, what was your favorite thing on the whole ship? Favorite activity? Favorite thing to do comedy for someone shows. who is about 12 years old? Comedy shows. The comedy shows? Because they do family-friendly shows, right? Mm-hmm. Usually two a night. Yep. All right, so in the morning, uh, they've already taken our luggage. We just have to get up, get dressed. We have to be out of our rooms by 8.30, and the ship should be docking between 8.30 and 10.30, and we can go get breakfast, and there's places to wait until they call our number, and then we go home. Yeah, so, all right, well, I guess we will end the video here, and hopefully the people that watch this are either getting ready to go on a cruise or thinking about going on a cruise, and uh, would you guys recommend it for kids? Yes. Yeah. Very fun. All right. Say goodbye. Bye-bye.